fucked up, dude. Uh, did you guys know? I didn't know this. That, uh, I guess, I guess it would appeal to somebody like me who loves the mafia. They have a Chicago Al Capone tour, which I thought would be super interesting. Even if you're not into that shit, like just Chicago history, just saying like, so this is where he got arrested. So this is where like, you know, the, the untouchable scene of coming out of court was, or uh, this is where the St. Fa- Valentine's Day massacre, you know, and you know, what's even fucking crazier. This is a great story. I got to tell you guys two stories. First of all, do you guys know what the family secrets trial is? Mm, I do not know. Never heard of it. Okay, have you seen Casino? Mm, no. Have you seen Casino? Yeah. Okay, so who Joe Pesci is in that movie? All that he's from Chicago. Casino is actually about Chicago controlling Las Vegas, and all of that shit was. I'm actually reading a book about it now. The first book I'll read. No, but uh, <laughs> it's 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 about um. Basically, the whole structure of how it how it moved to how it started off from Al Capone and where it went, how it moder- modernized from there, and who controlled what neighborhood, whatever, because there's like a South Side crew and whatever. So, wha- casino. Oh, okay. So, interesting fact. So I started reading about uh, family secrets trial. What it was is in 2005, all the families in Chicago of mob got shut down, and one of them was Joe Pesci in Casino. Whereas, so, um, anyways, what's really crazy is, uh, John, do you remember where we would go when I lived in Chicago and flatten pennies on the railroad? Uh, you know, it's, I was thinking that before you said it, that's the weird thing, but yeah. Why would you think of that? I have no idea. That's weird. Were you really thinking? Th- yeah, I was seriously so Out of nowhere. That. Yeah, out of, right before you said that, right when you said... Do you remember I thought of the railroad area? <laughs> That's fucking crazy because yeah. you know it's absolutely insane. The first place that got raided, shut down, demolished, and doesn't exist anymore. Do you remember that? So on the north side of the railroad was like where I lived, right? Then to the east was that cemetery. Well, it was on both sides. But then do you remember to the south there was that bar there, that restaurant? The Loon Cafe. Uh, I don't remember that. There was there was a bar there, and it was like a it had like a swan, um, logo. Lo- logo but it was a circle, and it was like black, you know, like towards Kitty Land. Uh, that bar, ten feet away where we used to flatten pennies, was the number one meeting spot for that whole fucking Chicago mob, the whole time. Which crazy. is crazy. Yeah, no, I I think it's hilarious because like I'm I'm surprised we didn't see like somebody getting dragged into a trunk or something while we're flattening pennies on the railroad. But probably any, did, just don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> too much but, cough syrup. Hey guys, can we? <laughs> yeah, can we can we drag some bodies with you? <laughs> wow, we <laughs> Mister. No, just flatten this body in the railroad. Oh, cool. But any, no, so what's even crazier? Here's another crazier story. Have I ever told you guys about the hostel? The pro- the prostitute ring with Carlos. No. Seriously? I never told you this? You told me about the underground porn shop. Yeah. Slash go-kart. Yeah, yeah. So The go-kart place? <laughs> that was a porn shop? <laughs> no, no. Do you remember? Have I taken you to that go-kart place? Yeah. Okay. So here's what's crazy. I'm not going to name names because I might get fucking whacked or some shit. You already but said Carlos. Yeah. Well, well, Car- <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, well, Carlos, so yeah, he's going to chase me in his Geo, Geo Metro. Carlos in his, and yeah, in his fucking go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carlos and his go-kart. It's Scarface 2 right there, that Cuban. So I think <laughs> Carlos don't name so, names. Okay. So so he so he was working at this go-kart place in Melrose Park. All right, there's another name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're fucking I'm, this I'm up. Just, <laughs> I'm just, you're fucked up, dude. <laughs> no, but... So so um so he's working at this go kart place. When when I met him, uh, he was working at this place. He would repair all the go karts. It was a fucking great place. I wish I, I I would go there every day if it wasn't expensive. You go these go karts go up to what like forty miles an hour. Yeah, uh, it depends on how many turns there are. Yeah. So so he was working at this place, and his bosses they paid only cash, 
And I also find out their name, not going to mention that for <laughs> sure, is is the name of a towing company. Okay? And, and that towing company is over all of Chicago. Everywhere you fucking go, you see those abbreviations, and it's those two – it's two – sons okay <laughs> and like tatooine no no <laughs> the planet tatooine has two sons oh all right sorry that, there's my star wars joke for the podcast <laughs> so, so 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 anyways <laughs> so one day i go to pick up carlos because his geo metro go-kart wasn't working and he's like hey man and this is like in a really okay so this is everything you would picture in a really sketchy chicago area it's like a it's like an episode of sopranos it's in a really sketchy uh uh, commercial area it's all factories and and truck docks and carlos is like yo we're i'm waiting for these sons to drop off their fucking yellow envelope no joke they of cash so i get paid i'm like well what you don't you can't just clock in it's not and he's like no it's only cash i'm like well what the fuck are we gonna do he's like well let's go here and there was an adult world a uh, porn shop right across the street, like 10 feet away, r- directly across the street. I'm like, well, okay, all right. You know what? You want to be fucking cute? Let's go and see this, you know, see how goofy. I, I never been to that place because I just picture just running and getting, you know, flicked by dildos in the neck everywhere you walk. So <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that. it. I mean, it pretty much just every porn shop just looks like a blockbuster, you know. So we go there and he's like. We're just walking through, and I'm, ju- you, you know, we're just walking through, making fun of names like "ooh, girls gone wild, but mild" because it's in Mexico or something. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> just, just making fun of all these stupid names like "broke back anus," you know, just, just all these uh, goofy poor names. And while we're walking through, I'm not gonna name names. We'll, we'll, ca- we'll call them. We'll call them Phil and Bill, the brothers. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, yes. so we're walking through. Speaking of broke and, and back car- anus, <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking through, and the lady there, because because we're we're just two fucking morons, just just looking at random shit, calling out random body parts. We're like, oh, are you guys looking for anything in particular? And I didn't kind of, I didn't think she was coming on to us, but she's like, yeah, anything in particular. And I'm like. Carlos is like, no, nah, no, nah. you know, Phil and Bill sent us over. It's like, oh, really? And no joke, she fucking slides the wall open, the wall. There's a whole fucking shelf of videos connected to this wall that she slides open and like a painting and a clock. She slides it open. There's a shower and spa area with just shit all over the fucking ground. And we're like, oh, cool, there's a spa. She's like, yeah, wait, there's more. And she's like wearing nothing but a robe and like a bikini under. I'm like, oh, it's probably just a cashier at a porn shop. Well, we keep walking. And then they have I don't know I don't know what they're called. I, I keep forgetting. You, you know in the old days when they had um prostitutes. Yeah. That's what they're called. <laughs> yeah, n- n- now they're just called uh, you know, j- uh, I, I don't I don't even know where I'm going with that. But <laughs> any, anyways, no, no, you know those things where there's a window in between you and and uh, the girl strips in front of you. What are those called? Where you like, put a, oh, like, a booth, like Boondock Saints style. Yeah, yeah, like that. They had that, except there's a chick stripping in front of you, and you can actually pay a chick to give you a blowjob. In in while while that other girl is stripping, I'm like, oh, cool. Let's keep moving along and get the fuck out of here. Then she takes us to a theater. And there's like four guys in this open theater. It looks like a it, it looks like a theater in like a high school, you know, with folding chairs and just <laughs> like. And there's there's like no crowd, but four dudes. One of them is naked with a with another chick, and and he's fucking her right there. And I'm like, dude, at the same time as how crazy this is, this is awesome. But I I didn't really know what was going on at the time. Sure. About a like. A week later, I go on. I I like am watching the news randomly at at fucking at um my house, living with my ma, and they were uh they said what I don't know if it was the mayor or like a political affiliate got caught in All one of those in one of those booths, getting his dick sucked, and they have a hidden ca- and it's on YouTube. 
Like the whole fucking like they t- they took that place down because it was like a prostitute ring, and oh. I don't know. It was kind of crazy. Like, like it's kind of crazy because everybody says that suburb, like that's where all the old casino mob guys are. And yeah, I don't know. It, it was it was just funny as shit because in the video they show like night vision, like like this guy getting his dick sucked in in his fucking tux, and, <laughs> and Phil and Carlos awkwardly just walking around. <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're we're just trolling, you know, the yeah. back of the night vision. Hey, this is cool, <laughs> you know, in the background. So 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 anyway so anyway yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm getting my dick sucked. No, but a- anyways, um. The funniest part is when they interview all the why they they like interviewed all the wives in the na- na- neighborhood, and it's just funny because it's just like you already know this prostitution ring is bad. You know why it's bad. I I mean I don't know. I guess I don't know if if it's really bad. But a- anyways, overall in general, you know why it's bad. But it's just funny when they interview the wives because c- c- it's like I don't know if it's it, it's like if they interviewed a murder and they'd be like. So, John, what do you think of this murder? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was good the way they capped this n- ass? You know? Oh, and don't use that word, Phil. Okay. Do you think it's good the way they capped these Phil and Bill brothers? Okay. <laughs> Much okay, better. I'll, I'll edit that. Okay. Uh, I just throw okay. in a bleep. Okay, okay. So... Then we're gonna need like six hours of footage, by the way, if we have Roscoe here <laughs> with 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 his <laughs> fucking mouth. No, but any any anyways. So he so uh so so it's just so funny the way they're interviewing these wives because they're just like, yeah, you know, it's not good to have it, and you know, it's a mile away from the school, and we don't know Think what they're doing. The children. Yeah, yeah. What could they be doing here? You know, they're supposed to, like like what could they be doing? It's a fucking porn shop. Your fucking husband doesn't al- already doesn't think you're attractive. You're worried about it whether he's getting his dick sucked or imagining it. You know, I don't know. It's just really funny, but that's my story with the the go karts and the Phil and Bill brothers. Good old Kitty Land. Yeah, <laughs> good old. Yeah, you know what's cri- you know what was really funny is I took four years uh, welding school for uh, r- right there at Triton College where Kitty Kitty Land used to be. The biggest fucking amusement park. It was. It was just like it was like Dinosaur World in Clifford, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, like, well, if well, if we don't end this fucking podcast, if we don't go to Dinosaur World, you know. No, but a- anyways. Um. So, uh, I was taking welding class, <laughs> and my 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 teacher. He was really kind of like that, you know, strong, stern John Wayne type. Sure, sure. he loved prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. So 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 it was just so funny because he almost like teared up telling because uh the my last year of the class was when they were shutting down Kitty Land and he was just talking about he built the entire uh train railroad oh. there just like yeah that was that was one of the greatest projects ever and it was just great to see this badass fall into fucking tears you know <laughs> right today on Modern Marvels the shitty Kitty Train at Kitty Land yes. <laughs> The greatest undertaking. What a schmuck. What's over there now, anyway? I don't the know. The porno shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> that's still going. <laughs> it's part of the mob tour. Yeah. <laughs> and was the Green Mill part of the mob tour? The Green Mill. Yeah, you ever been? I think I saw a show there. Oh my um, god, dude! So I always get that mixed up with a uh, Abbey Pub for some reason. Well, Abbey's closed. Oh, you know what? I think I played a show in Green Mill. No way. Like no, it's like Lawrence and Broadway, like right by the Riviera. No, okay, like super fancy. Yeah, like super okay, fancy okay. jazz Piano club. Bar. Okay, yeah, then never mind. No, but oh my god, dude, that is something I'd recommend to someone visiting. Did Chicago. I go with you, John, to see a jazz band there? Uh, no, I, I've been there a couple of times, but not with you. Okay. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> no, we we'll, we can go there. You guys want to go right now? All right, we're going. Right. No, no, There's no, always like stupid. a $30 cover charge, though. No, when I went there, it was 15 Well, two people, so. All right. Plus yeah. Chicago tax, Crook <laughs> County. Right. Yeah.
I'm fucked up, dude.